हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फिलिप्स कर फिलिप्स कर इज गिवन बाय ए डब्ल्यू फिलिप्स फिलिप्स कर बेसिकली स्टेट स्टेबल एंड इनवर्स रिलेशन बिटवीन इनफ्लेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फिलिप्स कर बेसिकली स्टेट स्टेबल एंड इनवर्स रिलेशन बिटवीन Inflation and unemployment. As we all know, inflation means rise in price of goods and service. Inflation means rise in price of goods and service. And according to Phillips curve, when inflation rise, unemployment will fall. And when inflation fall, unemployment will rise. Means according to Phillips curve, inflation and unemployment have inverse relation with each other. Okay. Now we understand uh, in inverse relation between unemployment and inflation with the help of this diagram. Okay. On x axis we take rate of unemployment and y axis we take rate of inflation. When rate of inflation is two percent, then rate of unemployment is six percent. When rate of inflation is two percent, then rate of unemployment is six percent. As rate of inflation increase from two percent to five percent, then rate of unemployment reduce. Rate of unemployment fall from six percent to three percent. This diagram basically show inverse relation between inflation and unemployment. As we see when inflation rise from two percent to five percent, unemployment reduce from six percent to three percent. Okay, and this blue one, this blue one downward curve is our flips. कर दिस ब्लू वन डाउनवर्ड कर विज अवर फ्लिप्स कर ओके This curve was very popular in 1960. Okay, but this curve was failed. This curve was break down in 1970. Why? Why in 1970 this curve was failed? This curve was break down because this curve was not able to explain stagflation. This curve was not uh, not able to explain stagflation. What does mean by stagflation? Stagflation means when you when in your Economy price and unemployment both are rising. Means when in your economy rate of inflation and rate of unemployment both are rising together, it's called stagflation. In stagflation, rate of inflation and rate of unemployment both are rising together. But according to Phillips curve, when inflation rise, unemployment reduce, and when inflation reduce, unemployment rise. But why this happen in stag? Inflation, in stagflation, both are rising. Inflation and unemployment both are rising together. Why this happen in stagflation? In 1970, Phillips curve was not able to explain it. That's why this period is called breakdown of Phillips curve. Now. Am American economist Friedman offered new explanation. According to American economist Friedman, uh, there is no one Phillips curve, but there is series of Phillips curve and one long run Phillips curve. Okay, according to Friedman, Friedman because in 1917 Phillips curve was failed because it uh, it was not able to explain stagflation. So in this time period, Friedman offered new explanation. According to him there is no one flip curve but there is series of flip curve series of short run flip curve and one long run flip curve okay we understand this with the help of diagram okay now please uh, listen explanation okay uh, means friedman want to say in short time period it can be possible inverse relation between inflation and unemployment okay in short time period it can be possible in inverse the relation between inflation and unemployment but in long time period there is no relation between price and unemployment okay short time period it can be possible inverse relation between price and unemployment but in long time period there is no relation between price and unemployment means both are unrelated to each other okay we understand this concept with the help of this diagram okay in x axis we take rate of unemployment and y axis we take rate of inflation okay suppose uh, economy start from a point okay initially we are in a point okay 
इन एक्स एक्सिस वी टेक रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड वाई एक्सिस वी टेक रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन एंड दीज बोथ ग्रीन करो एस आर पी सी वन एंड एस आर पी सी टू आर शोर्ट रन फ्लिप्स कर ओके दीज बोथ ग्रीन कर एस आर पी सी वन इज इनिशियली शोर्ट रन शोर्ट रन फ्लिप्स कर एंड एस आर पी सी टू इज न्यू शोर्ट रन फ्लिप्स कर एंड दीज वर्टिकल लाइन दिस ब्लैक वर्टिकल लाइन शो लॉन्ग रन फ्लिप्स कर ओके इन लॉन्ग टाइम पीरियड योर फ्लिप्स कर विल बिकम इन वर्टिकल शेप वाई वाई लो इन लॉन्ग टाइम पीरियड Your flips curve become at vertical shape. We understand now. Okay. Suppose our economy will start from a point. Okay. At a point, rate of inflation is two percent and rate of unemployment is six percent. At initially, when our economy start from a point at this level, rate of inflation is two percent and rate of unemployment is six percent. Because there is more unemployment in economy, then government have a pressure to reduce these amount of an unemployment. For reducing the amount of in unemployment, government will implement expansionary policy to reduce unemployment. Government will implement expansionary policy. As government implement expansionary policy, demand increase in economy. As demand increase in economy, price increase. Because as demand increase, price will increase. As a result, our economy move from A point to B point, where rate of inflation increase from two point two percent to eight percent. Okay, because the government because at six. Six uh, percent unemployment is very high. To reduce amount of uh, unemployment, government implement expansionary policy. As a result, demand increase. Demand increase means price increase. Price increase means rate of inflation is rising in economy. And economy move from A point to B point where rate of inflation is high, two percent to eight percent. Rate of inflation has increased two percent to eight percent. And unemployment has reduced six percent to three percent. वो एज वी नो इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज टू परसेंट टू एट परसेंट वाई इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज बिकॉज डिमांड राइज प्राइज राइज बट वाई अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रिड्यूस वाई अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रिड्यूस वेन इन्फ्लेशन राइज ओके प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली वेन डिमांड राइज प्राइज राइज ओके producer will producer will motivate will motivate for more production because demand demand for its product is rising and price also rising that's why producer will motivate for more production more output producer will increase their output for doing their output for doing production producer need labor means producer will increase demand for labor as a result unemployment will reduce because producer is hiring more and more labor that's why rate of unemployment will reduce as we see as demand increase price rise means inflation increase as inflation increase producer will motivate for more production because demand and price are rising producer will increase their output when output increase he will hire more labor when he will hire more labor amount of unemployment will reduce okay so when in inflation increase from 2% to 8% rate of unemployment reduce from 6% to 3% okay now economy will move from a to b point now please listen carefully B point is not stable point as friedman told in short time period it may be possible investment it may be possible inflation and unemployment have have inverse relationship with each other as we see when inflation increase unemployment will reduce and economy will move from a to b point okay but this b point is unstable point it may a short time period it may be possible economy can stay here for few time period for some time period or we can say that for short time period economy can stay here but this is unstable point okay why this b is unstable point now please listen carefully when inflation are continue rising 
when inflation are continue rising purchasing power of workers is reducing okay because price are continue rising now workers realize they are not able to buy same quantities of goods with same amount of money because price are continue rising okay so workers bargain with the help of trade union trade union work workers bargain for higher price as a result wages rise okay because workers uh, realize that they are not uh, because of rising the price they are not able to buy same quantity of goods with same amount of money so with the help of trade union they bargain bargain for rising the wages as a result wages rate rise when wages rate are continue rising means cost of producer is rising cost of producer is rising means per profit of producer is declining produce per profit of producer is continue reducing when profit of producer is continue reducing means producer will decline the output producer will reduce the amount of output when producer reduce the amount of output means producer need less labor he will hire less amount of employees he will hire less amount of workers even he will fire their existing workers because they he need not more workers because he is reducing amount of output as a result our economy move from b to 6 point because producer are continue firing their existing workers as a result economy will move from b to 6 b to c point at c point we have same amount of unemployment as we previously have when inflation was 2% okay at a point we have 6 point of unemployment economy will move from a to b and again move from b to c where we have same amount of unemployment but in in this situation we have same amount of unemployment with higher inflation rate earlier we we have 2% inflation rate and 6% unemployment rate now we have 8% inflation rate with 6% of unemployment mean means our unemployment come back with higher amount of inflation so in short time period it may be possible uh, unemployment and inflation have an inverse relationship with each other as economy move from a to b point but in this uh, but in long time period as inflation increase as we see inflation increase unemployment also increase that's why in long time period flips curve will become at vertical shape okay in long time period our flips curve will become at vertical shape or in short time period it may be possible uh, there is a uh, inverse relationship between unemployment and inflation but in long time period unemployment or inflation are unrelated to each other this is all about flips curve i think you You got understood and thank you so much for watching this video and take care bye